What's going on everybody? This is Casper Grimshaw. Today, um, I got a little bit of a different video. I don't have a Wi-Fi battle. I was working on UU a couple days back, but uh, I, don't, I don't really have a Wi-Fi battle I got to show you guys today. Instead, I thought I'd do a bit of a tutorial, since uh, part of the reason I wanted to get into doing Pokemon was so I could teach people as I went through the learning curve. Now, I've done a lot of battles. I've done some commentaries, dual commentaries with other people who are also learning. But I haven't really show, sat down and showed you how I would make a team. Now, this is just my interpretation of how to make a team. I could be thinking of it totally wrong. Um, do not say, think of me it's as this is the exact way to do a team. Because I'm really bad at making teams. I don't break very far in the ladder at all. But this is just how I would make a team. So, we're going to make a new team. We're going to do, just, I guess, just a standard OU team. Just for the heck of it. Um, now, I've been... Uh, playing around with some Pokemon lately, and also with the new tier changes and all that, um, I do have uh, some ideas as to what I want to do. Um, I'm thinking, you know what, well, we could do an RU team, but I don't think an RU, I don't think anyone really want me to see how to make an RU or NU team. Let's go just do an OU team, because that's pretty standard. Uh, as it is the overused Pokemon. Um, so, oftentimes, I start off with a Pokemon I think I'd want to try to use, or I'd like to use, or just the Pokemon that I generally like. Um, so, for the most part, I'm going to start off with a Pokemon that I want to make a team based around, which is going to be Breloom. Um, I saw Breloom recently. Uh, actually, Pokeaim, uh, he, did, he used a Breloom, and I saw it. I was like, you know what? I want to make one. Give me my Breloom, please. So, we're going to have one with Rock Tomb. Where's Rock Tomb? Hello? Rock Tomb. Are you here, buddy? There you are. So, Rock Tomb, Bullet Seed. Then I'm going to give mine... Oh, God. I knew what I wanted to give it. A oh, Mac Punch. And then Spore. And because this thing has no defenses at all, we're going to give it a Sash. Make it a fast physical sweeper, just because that's sort of the standard one here. Um, so, the concept of this Breloom is uh, to sort of be a lead, a scouter, so I can determine what I'm going to go into with this Breloom. Um, it's a good check for flying types. Um, I can hit him with a big, powerful Rock Tomb with Technician. Um, so that's going to be good. I can... Uh, catch some flying types off guard lead with uh, the grass type and we're going to go with this team and see if I can get a fire grass water core because that'd be helpful for me because I'm pretty bad at making teams like I mentioned earlier um, another Pokemon I don't really get to use a lot but I would like to use in at least one team would be a Keldeo um, because I, do, I usually am not a very big person to have uh, a Keldeo on my team so I'm going to make uh, this Keldeo here, and it's going to have your standard Hydro Pump, uh, your standard Secret Sword. Um, pretty well, just a standard moveset. I'm thinking going for a mixed Keldeo, because I do have a Keldeo, and it is mixed. So I'm going to give it the Aqua Jet for priority, and I should give it a C the CC. I should. But I think I want to give it the Poison Jab. I think I want to give it the poison jab I do. Um, hmm. Yeah, I want to give it the poison jab. This is just general teams. Um, I'm just sort of throwing this together as I make it. Um, again, don't do what I'm doing. It's not the most ideal team sets. Um, I'm actually going to give it the HP ice for dragon types and grand types. Or more dragon types, I'd say. Although I'm pretty well walled by, like, Ferrothorn. That's my other weakness. I'm always walled by frickin' Ferrothorns. So I'm gonna give it the HP Fire to take down Ferrothorns and other obnoxious little buggers like that. Um, now, I do have a huge weakness to fighting and... Or, sorry, not fighting. Flying, Psychic, and Fairy right now. So I'm gonna get someone to counter that. Or at least give me a good wall for that. Um, now, for Flying and Fairy, a Steel-type would be a good wall for that but also for something that can take down Psychic. So I'm thinking 
maybe a dark type. A mandibuzz could be helpful because that is a great physical wall. Although I need to think more specially. What's a good special wall I could throw in there? Maybe Ferrothorn is an inch. Although Ferrothorn's a better physical wall. Hmm. Now, again, I'm not very good at this. I'm just sort of throwing things together as I sort of come. This is literally the process I go through when I make it a team. I'm thinking Latias. It's a pretty good, decent special wall and uh, can probably do some damage from that. So I think I'm going to go for Latias as my, uh, as my special wall. And I'll do Defog uh, to get rid of rocks because I hate rocks generally on my team. Um, you know what? And then this also happens a lot when I make a team, but I think I'm going to get rid of the Brelum. It's a good scout. It's good for the core, but I already have that Keldia that I really want to use. So I'm going to get rid of the Brelum. Keep the Latias. Go for the Defog. Give it the Dragon Pulse. Give it the Psy Shock because generally special walls are pretty common. I would I find at least. So using the Psy Shock could be pretty good. A Defog. And then I'm going to give it maybe the Roost. I think the roost would be a smart move. Let's go with the roost. Give the roost. I don't want to bulk it. I want to make it specially defensive, but it's not. See, it doesn't read specially defensive, but I know you're, but this is going to be my special defensive wall. More or less. Um, so I'm going to put four in here, and I'm going to put 252 in here. And then a minus two its attack. So it has about 394 special defense. It's pretty good. Um, I'm actually going to stretch the dragon pulse. Uh, maybe there's another thing. Thing that would be smarter for me to do. Um, I could make it a reflect or a screener, but I think I'm gonna give it maybe the tailwind. The tailwind could be pretty could be pretty smart. Um, it wants to be a fast, bulky support, but I'm still thinking this could be a better a better spe a better special wall. Uh, ooh, healing wish. Let's do the healing wish. I. It still wants to be fast bulky support. Mm, maybe I should make it fast bulky support. Although this is, I'm always at a loss when I'm making defensive Pokemon. I'm really bad at making defensive Pokemon, just generally speaking. Um, I think I'm gonna give it. I kind of want to give it a Chi Wave or the Toxic. Um, T-Wig could be pretty good. No, freaking fast, bulky support. Um, 296 special defense. Uh, although, urgh, see, this is what I always go through when I'm trying to make a team. Um, so I'm gonna hold off on my walls for now, figure them out afterwards. But I do have my water fight, uh, fighting, so I do want a fire type to balance out this team and a grass type to balance out this team. Now, grass types are hard for me to figure out because I'm always have trouble picking Pokemon, as you can probably tell at this point um although again i have too many always have picked too many fighting types i have my generally my favorite pokemon i like to use are fighting steel dark dragon fire so i gotta branch out of those pokemon if i can um although recently i did get a staraptor and i love this staraptor to bits so i'm gonna give it the moveset that i have on it um and it, this is essentially just my my Staraptor that I have in my game, and I adore this Staraptor so much. It's stupidly powerful that I give mine a Shell Bell because it's the it's the extra bit of health that I'm gaining back that's actually kind of helpful. Because most of these, it's 33% recoil, and then I get an eighth of my total damage back. So then it's like I do I, I am losing health over time, but at least it's not as bad the recoil I so shell bell is something I would give it um, although a choice band would also be pretty good I personally although life orb but then it's just it's a serious suicide I like the shell because I can just keep dishing out the powerful reckless hits um, because 1.2 times double edge and brave bird is pretty damn powerful with stab on a brave on a Staraptor. So I'm gonna. I like the. I like these two so far. This is something I can work with. Um, I would like to get a grass type. I. I also got a Ferrothorn recently because I sort of want to branch out into other Pokemon. So Ferrothorn, I think I'm gonna stick in this team because I do like Ferrothorn. I'm gonna give it the Rocky Helmet, and it's gonna be my physical wall. So I'm gonna give it the. What did I give my Ferrothorn? I can't remember. I gave it the Leech Seed. I gave mine the Stealth Rock, the Leech Seed. 
the protect. And then maybe the oh the gyro ball. And then protect. Is that sound right to you? I think that might be right. Um hmm. Knockoff is also a pretty cool move on Ferrothorn because it's kind of catches you off guard. I'm giving it the gyro ball for sure. I'm actually even go into the my IVs quickly and, get, and give it zero in in, in speed for IVs because frick that man. Let's make it speed as garbage as it can. Put a minus in the speed too. Uh, see that's a pretty standard guy there. Um, I think I'm actually gonna give it the. It's a physical attacker. I should not give it a Giga Drain. Um. I'm going to give it the... No, not the Iron Head. I'm dumb. I'm going to give it the Power Whip. Because that Grass-type core is, another, again, something I kind of want to have. And even with no attack investment, it's a super threatening uh, power of that of 120 plus stab, which is really good. Um, then, for me, I always question what I want to be my Mega as well. Because even though Mega Pokemon are strong, they are not the strongest, but again... For what they are, they can be extremely overpowered. So I'm thinking maybe a fire type mega. I can't use Blaziken because Blaziken is always banned because it's it's just dumb. Um So I could go for the Chandelure. That could be something interesting. I never used the Chandelure before. I love my Blaziken. I do love my Blazikins. I do have a stealth rock lead. I also like my suicide leads. Actually, I saw this recently, actually today on a video, a Sharpedo. Speed boost and it had the Destiny Bond on it. And this was just something I saw Pokeyama use as well. And it just, it was such a cool moveset. And I really am tempted to try it. It was Hydro Pump, Dark Pulse, Destiny Bond, and the Protect. So this is something I could potentially use as somewhat of a suicide lead, take down a huge threat as it comes in. Um, I do like Destiny Bonders, uh, just because, or de not Destiny Bonders, or things that have magic or counter. Um, you know what, I did, mm, I love my Gengars. I do love my Gengars. I think I'm gonna go for the Gengar with a counter again, because everyone, everyone expects the Gengar to die to a physical attack. But if I give it a Focus Sash, because I don't have that Brelin, remember. Give the Counter, and then the Destiny Bond. Then I'll give it the Shadow Ball Core with the Sludge Wave. So then that's going to be my fast, physical, my fast Special Sweeper. Um, so that'll be that. Um... So this is sort of what the team is looking like so far. It's a pretty interesting core Pokemon. I have my water grass sort of core there. I have the ghost type, which can basically take any fake out or um, physical attack, then bring dub double the damage back with counter. I mean, it's not the heftiest health wise, but even 262, like if I do 261 damage back on a Pokemon, that most Pokemon will probably die. I mean, I've i pulled counter on a couple Pokemon before, like you see in my past videos, like Clefable, even my Tyranitar I had counter on. I love the move counter because it's so, it's kind of used, but it's also not that used. I mean, I, I'm pretty, I could be calling this wrong, but I like counter. Most people don't usually like using counter, I imagine, because it's, it's a risky play. I play risky. I'm dumb. So let's go with that. Now, another Pokemon I would love to try to use would be Landers. I do have a flying type, but I don't have a ground type. Um, I always, whenever I make a team, I like to go through it, see what I need, see what I don't want. I still need a fire type. Um, I'm seriously considering a Mega Charizard for my, for my, for my thing, my Mega. In which case, I would need a Stealth Rocker or Defogger, because I don't, or not Stealth Rocker, a, a Rapid Spinner or Defogger, um, because Charizard has a huge weakness to Stealth Rocks. Most sometimes I'll just like to tank through the stealth rocks because I don't really care. But if I do get a Latias as a special wall, I can get I can make that my defogger, which could work. Mm, why do I always sit through these? I, I, I sometimes it takes me like two like sometimes it takes me like two hours to make up a team. Um, 
I'm gonna go with that. I think I... Uh, I would like to have a fire type. I could go with Arcanine. I do like Arcanine a lot. Um... This is seriously bugging me now. Um, too bad they haven't released like a Mega Infernape yet, because like I love Infernape. I wrote him heat. Ooh, ooh, ooh! The plays, the plays. I got, I got the, I got the thoughts. I got the thoughts. Don't worry, I got the thoughts. The Volt Switch. The Willow. And. Pain split. Especially defensive. Rotom Heat. Yes. You have the lefties. Ooh, we got, we're getting places. We're getting places. Uh, I don't have anything for you. I'm going to give it your Life Orb because Life Orb Keldeo is stupidly powerful. Um, and then now I can just have a free reign on whatever Mega I want. Um, you know, Mega Guard would probably be a good, well rounded Mega for this team. Um, I'm thinking Mega Guard. Mega Guard of War. Or Mega Pinsir. I don't like Mega Venusaur, but just because it's generally played as a more special... Or, sorry, a more defensive Pokemon. For me, Mega Pokemon are generally something that... The Mega Evolve is the setup stage for me, and then I just start hammering away with powerful attacks. Because why the hell not? Because I'm a Mega Pokemon. That's why. Um, so I'm thinking... I'm seriously thinking going for that Mega Gardevoir. I'm seriously thinking the Mega Gardevoir. You know what? We're going to do Mega Gardevoir. Wait, Fairy. What am I extremely weak to on this team? I'm weak to Fire from Fairy to Thorn. Some Rocks on Staraptor. Electric, Psychic, Flying, Fairy. I have a lot of weaknesses to Psychic in Gengar and Caldeo. I have weaknesses to Fire in Ferrothorn, weaknesses to Rock in Staraptor and Rotom. Maybe... Maybe a Mega Medichan. As a Mega med a med a, as a Mega Medichan can take down the... easily take down some of the bigger threats which are the rock type weaknesses I have. I have Keldeo for the fire type weakness. I have Rotom Heat for the fire type weakness I can switch into. I could do I could theoretically put a flash fire on this team and then bait the flash bait, bait the fire type attack with Ferrothorn and then go into my flash fire and then use the the powered up uh, fire type attack. Hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, is Lucario banned? I don't remember. I don't remember. I don't remember. Let's look, let's look at my megas. Let me look at my megas. Let me look at my megas. Um, Obama Snow, Charizard, Gardevoir. See, some of these are really based on. Hmm. Mega Mawile. I don't use you too often. I kind of like the idea of Mega Mawile. Hmm. Mega Mawile. That's a thing. That can be a thing. Let's do it. I'm gonna go with my. I'm gonna go with Mawile as my Mega. So we're just gonna scratch the Mega part of that. Go for the Mega Mawile. Give it the Mawileite. Give it some Intimidate. Can you can you Intimidate? Thank you. Um. I'm going to give it the Fire Fang because, again, I do have the Rotom Heat and the Hidden Power of Fire on you. But at the same time, I. You know? Hmm. Hmm, 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 hmm. I'm going to give it. Drive oh, I'm bad at this. I'm really bad at this. Iron Head, the play rough. Just play rough is stupidly powerful on this thing. And then the last move I'm thinking I'm going to give them this guy will 
probably be the sucker punch just because it does it does work well um, make it faster faster my well jolly because the pure power does power up with uh, on the adamant side uh, of things so I'm thinking this is gonna be my final team to give it a final overview uh, got my Ronum Heat, my Gengar, my Ferrothorn, Straptor, Keldeo, and Mawile. Um, I think I'm pretty happy with this team. Uh, I do have... I always forget something when I'm making a team, and then later on when I go to test it, I suck whenever I run into one Pokemon. So if I ran into a Sand team, I could probably get completely decimated. But... I, I can probably put up a decent fight. So, anyways, it's sort of the thought process I go to when I make a team. Um, if you guys have any other recommendations for me when I make a team, um, let me know. Uh, I try to find one wall each, get a couple Pokemon that can hit really hard, and then a gimmicky Pokemon that's a lead, and then a Mega. That's usually what I do. I usually have one gimmicky Pokemon, like Gengar, Clefable, Tyranitar. I usually have one gimmick on every team I make. I mean, if I go through my team list, my gimmick is Gengar. Here, my gimmick is, um, I think it's my Porygon Z. I think Porygon Z is my gimmick in this team. Blackthorn, Zaba, in my Pokemon X team, my gimmick was, actually, the, the my because it was my Pokemon X team, I sort of made it well-rounded team, just generally speaking, so it wasn't really a gimmick in that team, unfortunately. But I guess the gimmick was Rotomo, because I adore Rotomo. Um, my gimmick in my Ubers is Shaman Sky. My Gen 1 team, it's um, the Clefable. Daryl's team, uh, they made that. These these three teams are people that are, people team people made, and I sort of built around that, so I'm ignoring those three. My Rain team, what's my gimmick in my Rain team? Um, this guy, my Toxic Coke. It's my gimmick there. Also, my uh, Dragonite. So yeah, I like my gimmicky Pokemon, but uh, this is sort of the team that I came up with. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed this, and if you want any, uh, if you want me to try making a team on a different tier, let me know, and I'll see what I can do. Hope you guys enjoyed. Catch you guys next time.